overclocking. A basic 10700K overclock, all core of 5 GHz. Free overclock for some. This is your overclock guide for desktops with a 10700K processor. We'll go through the basic settings for a better overclock. We'll get to a 5 GHz overclock and it should be accomplished with any motherboard, any system, as long as you have adequate airflow. However, not all cores are created equally. Therefore, not everyone can reach this overclock. I'll be using an ASUS Maximus 12 formula, but any motherboard can do this. A lot of the settings can be ported over. We will cover ASUS Multicore Enhancement on with hyperthreading enabled, ASUS Multicore Enhancement on with hyperthreading disabled, ASUS Multicore Enhancement off with hyperthreading enabled, ASUS Multicore Enhancement off with hyperthreading disabled. Memory overclocking will be covered in a separate video. The settings found in your motherboard's BIOS utility can vary, so it's important to consult the manual if you're uncertain. 5 GHz all core overclock. This is better than 4.9 GHz, and some 10700Ks can do this. It's a free overclock, and I mean, you paid for the K variant, right? Let's go through the settings we will modify. When you enter the BIOS for the first time, it will look something like this. Before we start, a few points. The room temperature is a toasty 28 degrees Celsius, no AC, and it is what it is. I use a Kraken Z73 by NZXT as a radiator. My retail CPU is binned. I have my PC running in a huge Corsair 1000D tower. It was meant for another project, but this is what I run now. It likely helps maintain a cooler motherboard temperature also, this may counter the room's temperature of 28 degrees to be closer to 22 degrees from a cooling perspective. You may be able to achieve a better overclocking setup than this. This is luck of the draw in a sense. I'm not an expert overclocker, but do want to share what has worked for me. Consider this as a guide and if you're an experienced overclocker, you can use this as a point of reference. This video is resuming where we left off after the 4.9 GHz overclock test. You can find the first video in the video description. For the ASUS AI overclock tuner, this should be set to XMP2. Again, this is more of the memory overclocking and unrelated to CPU overclocking. XMP is for your memory or DRAM. B clock frequency and PCIe frequency will remain at 100. ASUS Multicore Enhancement on with hyperthreading enabled. For the ASUS Multicore Enhancement, set it to Auto, Let's BIOS Optimize. The SVID Behavior, set it to Auto. AVX Instruction Core per Negative Offset, set it to Zero. CPU Core Ratio, set it to Sync All Cores. And let's set the All Core Ratio Limit to 50. Scroll down to CPU SVID Support and ensure it's set to a Disabled. No changes were made to the Digi Plus VRM. Now, if it's not CPU load line calibrated and it was left to auto, you may need to go back and set it to level 4. Scroll down to ring down bin and ensure it's set to enabled. Set the min CPU core or cache ratio to 44 as well as the max CPU cache ratio to 44. Go to exit and save changes and reset. We're going to launch HW Info 64 as well as Prime 95. Now, as a reminder, HW Info 64 is a hardware monitor app to monitor your system's temperature, voltage, fan speed, and additional functionality. Prime 95 can heavily test your CPU usage, and we will not be stress testing AVX, but we'll stress test everything else on the processor. Both links will be found in the video description. This will use the small setting for the highest stress test. Make sure to disable AVX and don't run any other apps while you're stress testing the CPU. We'll run Prime95 for about 10 minutes. If any of the cores stop, Prime95 will flash in the taskbar as well as an indicator which will state next to the core not running or not working. If your PC freezes, then you'll either blue screen or have to manually restart your PC. The test is done and the CPU gets to a toasty 90 degrees Celsius. Let's run the next test with hyper threading off. A quick reminder, 
on speed, step, and C states. You can optionally disable these two settings, but keep in mind running Prime95 will simply run at C0 or the highest performance possible. Let's get back into disabling hyper-threading. Simply enter your BIOS again, go to Advanced, go to CPU Configuration, find hyper-threading, and disable it. Save and exit. Now let's rerun the test, once again using HW Info 64 as well as Prime95. As you notice, with hyper-threading disabled, CPU temperatures are down almost 9 degrees Celsius. This can make a difference if you decide to overclock to a higher frequency without hyper-threading. Hyper-threading is a virtual thread which can be useful in some scenarios. Some apps take advantage, while others do not. The conclusion after 10 minutes is 9 degrees difference, 81 degrees Celsius. Let's rerun the first test without ASUS's multi-core enhancement. In the BIOS, find ASUS multi-core enhancement and select Disabled. Enforce all limits. Note, this feature is for ASUS motherboards, but other manufacturers may use other names. MSI, for instance, calls it Game Mode. Go to Advanced. Go to CPU Configuration. Find Hyper-Threading and enable it. Save and exit. Let's rerun the first test. There might be a slight change in temperature here. No change in max temperature as we finished at 90 degrees Celsius. Now, for the last test, let's go back in the BIOS and disable hyper-threading. Go to Advanced. Go to CPU Configuration. Find hyper-threading and disable it. Save and exit. Rerun the second test. Again, there might be a slight difference in temperature. There was no change in the max temperature compared to test two. We finished at 81 degrees Celsius. Conclusion time. Some CPUs should achieve an overclock of five gigahertz. You don't need my case, but having a cooler room temperature helps. Disabling hyper-threading is the way to go for higher frequencies. ASUS multi-core enhancement helps, but it is not required. If your CPU can't handle the overclock, Expect lag, freezing, or blue screens. What did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments. Would you like to see an all-core 5.1 GHz video on the 10700K? Does the topic of overclocking interest you at all? Let me know. Suggestions for future videos are also welcome. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well as my new Discord channel. You can find the links in the video description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, and if the topics like tech, hardware, or gaming interest you, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I'll post a couple of videos that you may be interested in, but if not, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.